today back then. What happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1740, Charles de Bourbon, King of Naples, invites Jews to return to Sicily on this day in history. In 1743, Philadelphia establishes a pest house to quarantine immigrants. In 1783, Spain recognizes the independence of the young United States. In 1809, the Illinois Territory is created. In 1815, the world's first commercial cheese factory is established in Switzerland. In 1834, Wake Forest University is established. In 1836, the Whig Party holds its first national convention in Albany, New York. In 1855, the Wisconsin Supreme Court declares the U.S. Fugitive Slave Law unconstitutional. In 1861, Delaware votes not to secede from the United States. In 1865, President Abraham Lincoln meets with Confederate representatives to negotiate peace and repair of the Union. It is rejected. In 1867, Prince Mutsuhito becomes Emperor Meiji of Japan at 14 years old. In 1870, construction of the Brooklyn Bridge begins. In 1876, Albert Spaulding starts a sporting goods company. Perhaps you've heard of it. In 1877, the piano piece Chopsticks is copyrighted on this day. In 1882, circus owner P.T. Barnum buys his world-famous elephant jumbo. In 1887, to avoid disrupted national elections, Congress creates the Electoral Count Act. In 1889, Belle Starr, U.S. female gangster, is murdered at 40 years old. In 1894, artist Norman Rockwell is born. In 1907, American author James Michener is born. In 1913, the 16th Amendment is ratified. It allows Congress to levy income taxes on the U.S. public. In 1916, Parliament buildings in Ottawa, Canada burn down. In 1917, although the United States had not entered World War I as yet, the country breaks off diplomatic relations with Germany a day after Germany announced a new policy of unrestricted submarine warfare. In 1918, the Twin Peaks Tunnel in San Francisco, California begins service. It is the longest streetcar tunnel in the world at over two miles. In 1919, the League of Nations first meet. In 1923, the Alpha Zeta chapter of Pi Mu Alpha Symphonia is founded at Pennsylvania State University. In 1924, former U.S. President Woodrow Wilson has died at age 67. In 1925, Benito Mussolini announces he is taking over Italy as dictator. In 1931, the Hawke's Bay earthquake, New Zealand's worst natural disaster, kills 258 people. In 1938, the March of Dimes is established by President Franklin D. Roosevelt. In 1941, the Supreme Court upheld the Federal Wage and Hour Law, which sets minimum wages and maximum hours for workers in the United States. In 1943, the USAT Dorchester is sunk by a German U-boat. Only 230 of 902 men aboard survive. In 1945, almost 1,000 flying fortresses drop 3,000 ton bombs on Berlin. Also in 1945, Walt Disney's Three Caballeros is released. In 1947, proceedings of the United States Congress are televised for the first time. Also in 1947, in Snag Yukon, a North American low temperature record of negative 81 Fahrenheit is set. In 1948, Dick Button becomes the first world figure skating champion from the United States. In 1951, the Victor Borga Show debuts on NBC TV. In 1953, Frances P. Bolton and her son Oliver P. Bolton become the first mother and son to serve simultaneously in the U.S. Congress. In 1956, a fire damages the upper part of the Eiffel Tower. Also on this day, Tony Saylor becomes the first Olympic skier to sweep the three Alpine events. In 1957, the Hamilton Watch Company introduces the first electric watch. In 1959, American rock and roll singers Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, The Big Bopper, and pilot Roger Peterson were killed in a plane crash. The incident becomes known as The Day the Music Died. Also in 1959, Alaska is admitted as the 49th U.S. state. In 1960, 
Italian dramedy La Dolce Vita, directed by Federico Fellini, had its world premiere and became one of the most important films in cinema history. In 1961, the United States Air Force begins Operation Looking Glass. Over the next 30 years, a doomsday plane is always in the air. In 1962, Pope John XXIII excommunicates Fidel Castro. Also in 1962, President Kennedy bans all trade with Cuba except for food and drugs. It was just a bad day for Castro. In 1964, the Meet the Beatles album goes gold. In 1967, Ronald Ryan, the last person to be executed in Australia, is hanged in Pentridge Prison, Melbourne. Also today, Purple Haze is recorded by Jimi Hendrix. In 1969, Yasser Arafat becomes leader of the Palestine Liberation Organization, also known as the PLO. In 1971, New York City Police Department officer Frank Serpico is shot during a drug bust while his fellow officers stood outside and failed to call for assistance. In 1972, a snowstorm in Iran kills 4,000, making it the deadliest in history. It started today and lasted over the next week. Also in 1972, the 11th Winter Olympics Games opens in Sapporo, Japan, the first time in Asia. In 1973, Dr. Hook's cover of The Rolling Stone enters the top 40 and peaks at number 6. Also on this day, President Richard Nixon signs the Endangered Species Act into law. In 1977, Electronics Giant Apple is incorporated. In 1979, YMCA by the Village People peaks at number 2. Also today, the Minnesota Twins trade Rod Carew to the California Angels for four players. In 1982, porn star John Holmes is ordered to stand trial for murder. In 1984, Harbor UCLA Medical Center announces history's first embryo transfer from one woman to another, resulting in a live birth. In 1986, the Pope and Mother Teresa meet in Calcutta. Also today, Pixar Animation Studios is spun off from Lucasfilm Limited. In 1989, 20 villages are evacuated in Russia after high radiation fallout from the Chernobyl nuclear disaster. In 1993, Cincinnati Reds owner Mard Schott is suspended for one year due to racist comments. Also in 1993, the federal trial of four police officers charged with civil rights violations captured on the videotaped beating of Rodney King begins in Los Angeles, California. In 1994, after the formal end of apartheid, on this day more than 7 million people are granted South African citizenship. In 1995, American astronaut Eileen Collins becomes the first woman to pilot a space shuttle. She flies the Discovery Shuttle. In 1997, a public memorial occurs for Carl Sagan in Ithaca, New York. In 1998, Carla Faye Tucker is executed in Texas, becoming the first woman executed in the United States since 1984. Also today, Mary Kay Letourneau, the 36-year-old former teacher, violates probation with the 14-year-old father of her baby. In 2000, the last original weekday Peanuts comic strip is published. In 2002, Super Bowl 36 was played in New Orleans, the New England Patriots beat the St. Louis Rams 20-17. In 2003, actress Lana Clarkson is shot and killed by Phil Spector at Spector's house in Alhambra, California. In 2004, Flash Airlines Flight 604 crashes into the Red Sea, resulting in 148 deaths, making it the deadliest aviation accident in Egyptian history. In 2005, American lawyer and judge Alberto R. Gonzalez was sworn in as the first Hispanic Attorney General of the United States. In 2007, a Baghdad market bombing kills at least 135 people and injures another 339. In 2008, the New York Giants defeated the heavily favored and undefeated New England Patriots in Super Bowl 42, 17 to 14. In 2020, the cruise ship Diamond Princess is quarantined in the Yokohama, Japan port with 3,700 passengers on board after cases of COVID-19 are detected. And in 2021, engineers at MIT announced that they have engineered spinach, yes, spinach, the green leafy stuff, to send emails 
when detecting explosive minerals in groundwater as part of their plant nanobionic research. I've got to read more about that one. Hey, if you like my video, it would be nice if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and all that other cool stuff that people do when they like other people's YouTube channels. I know there's other things. It'd be great if you did those.